Hello everyone. In this video today we're going to discuss how to create a pivot table in Microsoft Excel using a very simple call record details that I actually downloaded from my own account. But of course for security purposes I have changed the phone numbers as well as the destinations and I'm only looking at two dates here. So very little information but nevertheless we're going to show how to create a very simple pivot table. I mean after this video I mean I would highly encourage you to create your own data or use your own data and play around with the pivot table options that are available in Microsoft Excel. But let's get started here. We have our call record details. We have one row that has our headers. And then of course we have the information. In order to create a pivot table, I mean there's two ways we can do it. We can either one do the pivot table on a separate sheet or you can create the pivot table on the same sheet. I don't um, recommend or encourage you to do the pivot table on the same sheet because pivot tables will often be expandable and of course they will collapse. And if you were to create two pivot tables on the same worksheet, one pivot table can expand to the other and, it, and it's going to cause um, it's going to cause errors in Microsoft Excel. Best thing to do when when working with pivot tables, use a separate sheet in order to create the pivot. So let's go on and uh, look. Let's go to a brand new sheet. We're going to do sheet six. I'm going to go on and start with cell B3. And we're going to hit insert pivot table. Now we're going to select a table or a range. So we're going to select the call record details starting from the first header date. You can go all the way down to the total header and go down to the last record that you would like to include in the pivot. Now that we have the data selected, go on and select OK. If you notice, now you have a pivot tables tool tab that has loaded where you can work with the pivot table. And on the right, you have your pivot table field list. You can view this by selecting field list or hide it. So hide or view. In case you don't see it, just simply click field list and you should have this pivot table field list pop populate for you. Now all we're going to do with this pivot table is do two things. Analyze the calls that are being called or of course calls that or calls that are being received along with the minutes and we'll look at the sum of minutes and the number of times the 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 phone number appears on the call record. And the way we're going to do that we're going to use row labels and values. In this pivot table we won't be using a report filter or column labels. Report filter is rather simple I mean all that all that does is gives you a way to filter data based on your field selection here so first go on and get number hold the mouse and drag down to row labels and we're gonna look at the minutes go on and hold it down and drag it to values Excel by default has put the minutes into sum of minutes. So this gives us the the overall sum of minutes that a particular number was on the on the call with. So if we look at phone number five 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 one two three four five six seven, there's a total of twenty nine minutes worth of usage to this phone number. Now if we only wanted to know the number of times this phone number was called or an incoming call was received, the way you would do that is select under values the sum of minutes and click value field settings go on and select that to a count instead and if you notice there's other options here there's sum, count average max min product but in this case we're going to do the count and go on and select ok by doing that you now have the number of times that a particular number was called or again if how many times the the call was received from that specific number. So in this case, again, five 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 one two three four five six seven. There's a total of six calls to this number. Now, a good thing with pivot tables is that you can actually double click any of this data to expand into the raw data or the details. So if you wanted to see these six calls, simply double click it, and a temporary table is created for you on a brand new sheet. You can. Uh, course adjust the columns to your likings 
but here we see the six calls that the pivot table was, was referencing. This data is temporary, I meaning you can easily delete this sheet. And you no, no data will be lost. You still have your call record details. All the data is still here. Your pivot table is still intact. And you can go back to those six calls if you want. Now, a lot of times in your work environment or in your projects, you may have one pivot table, such as this one, that is referencing this specific range. In the event that this data is changed, you will need to change your pivot table setup. You can change data source. Instead of having a range, you can assign a table name. But in either case, when you do change your details, very important that in your pivot table tools that you refresh your data. Now, I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial on pivot tables and this small introduction. Again, I would highly encourage and recommend that you create your own data, start playing with pivot tables, practice and repetition will make you an expert in this. So definitely make sure that you practice at it and work at it. And don't get discouraged if things don't work out the first time. I mean, pivot tables can be very challenging, but again, I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching.